Tourism is the biggest industry here in Hawaii. Of course, pays the bills, but now one lawmaker is looking to put some major limits on it. Kimberly Speakman explains in a story that's new at 9. Kimberly? Bridget Howard State Senator Laura Thielen says she's gotten multiple complaints from people who want to see a change with tourism in Hawaii. And this new measure will be a step in the right direction. Hawaii reached over 10 million visitors last year, up 3% from 2018. That's according to the Hawaii Tourism Authority. With the number of visitors climbing each year, Senator Laura Thielen says enough is enough. The idea really is let's give the residents a break. Under her measure, no tour buses or tour helicopters would be allowed to operate on Sunday across the state. Tours are, you know, bringing people to beaches that used to be just local residents, you know, so that when we have our days off, we just never get a break. Last year, tourism in Hawaii brought in $17.75 billion. If this bill is passed, that number could go down drastically. There'll definitely be pushback from the tourism industry, and uh, what I'd like to do is open the discussion. However, she says she's open to amending the bill as the session goes on. I would look at friendly amendments to say, okay, let's protect residential areas, let's make it clear that tours are allowed in resort areas, in areas that are set up for large numbers of people, like um, Bishop Museum and others. Under the measure, if a tour company doesn't comply, fines could go all the way up to $10,000. Tour companies could even lose their license. And I reached out to tour companies to get their thoughts on the bill. Roberts Hawaii says they will be monitoring it closely as the bill progresses. Kimberly Speakman, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.